all right guys welcome welcome back to the we max it youtube channel i'm your host jd if you're new please do smash that like button share and definitely subscribe so as you saw by the title we're going to be talking about the suriname um actual final roster which is 23 players so hopefully you guys stay tuned smash the like button and get involved we're going to look at how highly rated um these teams are and uh, what we should expect from them i i did it to some extent um before but now we have the final trap down 23 i could look at it um a little bit deeper we saw float management big of yourself um for being full in the building massive massive respect yes thanks for being here hope all is well with you and your family let me get straight into it so we can start asking um that question all right so um the svb uh okay let me try and get this back right here sorry about that yes so the svb um as what they've said the final selection um of nacho um towards the gold cup um the first game at least the the main game uh, which is puerto rico that um suriname should be taking part um in yes so that's what they have to pass first before they get into the um gold cup itself which is called the prelims all right yes the coaching staff has made a decision about which players will and which players will not go to the gold cup if the national selection of Suriname passes the prelim of june 17th to 20 then the following players will represent the country in the final tournament all right yes so let me pick up on my other Surinamese brother then we have a uh, mayowa a uh, nigerian in the building Ra 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 raven medical bless up bless up then we have mika meek fifa that is a Surinamese massive massive respect kankakaf um is back Suriname is back and i am back all right thank you very much share the contents far and wide we don't see cello chan base so someone takes cello chan base because we don't see him from the other day he sold us out you know yes so we have our list so let me continue all right so first on the list mighty abena we had him down um as one of the integral part then we have um navayo um port I need to drop his name down because I never uh, added him in my listing. So I, I never knew him, knew about him being in the team. So let me see um, where he's from and stuff because that's how we are going to do um, this. All right. Try and find um, as much places the guys them coming from. All right. So I don't see it. All right. So N Navajo Port, let me know. People, let me know where he's coming from so I can know more about him because I never reported on him. I never expected um, to get additional names as well. Guys, we only have nine likes on the video. Come on, do much better than that. All right. Uh, we are trying to do at least 30 minutes just to get it, just the information out there. We don't need to lament on stream for 50 hours. You know, it makes no sense. Um, Big up, big up, big up. Thanks very much for being here, man. Yeah, man. And we're glad um, having actual football to talk about. And from the other day, that's what we're having. So we really and truly enjoy it. All right. So thanks always. So Navaya Port, port um, let me know where he's coming from. So I could um, look at him, uh, which I'm going to do right after. But just let me know as soon as you come in the chat or you're re-watching this one. So Navaya Port added to the list. Then we have Geraldo Becker. Um, in this one where the baby tank um let us hold on hold on hold on we, we don't have any baby tank here as yet but let me see let me see let me see let me see all right so we have so we have Cheryl Becker um Cheryl Becker right here on the list this is this is very good so mighty have been a Navaya port this is one that I have to write down because I have to go and research that player um don't know much about him navayo um port oh he, oh he just came in on the list all right shara lebeka bessiswar diego bessiswar um blackson blackson was there before quality player tajan cherry finally he's back um in the listing guys cherry is back in the listing hopefully he doesn't find a way how to say he's not going to turn up all right yes hopefully that's not the case right there all right um stefano denswell just came on and he's here present so that is very good um um dextail a next player that i want to see more of hopefully we, we could get to see him um very soon 
Yes, and then we have Wanahan, Wanahan back in the team. That is very, very good. That is very good, Wanahan in the list. One second, guys. I'm just posting this for people to know that I'm live. So, one hand back in it. Then you have Josie Soon in it. Um, Dara Soklas. Um, Ishan Court. Kevin Ladam. Dian Malone. Kenneth Paul. So, Kenneth Paul is back in it. I, I would definitely love that one. Kenneth Paul back in it. Shaquille Penas. Um, Joey Rogaven. Um, Joshua Sanchez. So, Sanchez. Joshua Sanchez. I need to look up. Let me see if I can find... Joshua Sanchez. Mine, it looks like they're putting players from local in it because maybe they got injuries. I need people to... Okay, Joshua Sanchez. No, Sanchez coming in. All right, so we have Joshua Sanchez. So he was one of the new ones um, that I never did any video on. So I need to go and watch this player. So Joshua Sanchez is one of the new additions um, that came in. And he's already in the 23. So that's good. So Sanchez is 24 years old. Um, his main position is an attacking midfielder. So that, that's very good. So that simply means they're adding more value to the midfield. So now you have Thierry Bessisoir and then you have a Sanchez coming in. So let's see what he could offer. But at least they keep on adding talents. Um, all right. So Joshua Sanchez um, on the team. All right. Then you have, um, okay, Spork. All right, so let me see Fabian Sporklaid. Uh, let me check him as well, even though I, I, I didn't know about him. But let me just check it just to make sure people know about him as well, because a lot of people want information. All right, so our, as you could see, he plays right back, 29 years old. The market value still at 200,000, um, so not bad at all. Sports lead. All right, so that is the the third player that I need to look at. Uh, Mitchell Tiffred, back in it. All right, Mitchell Tiffred, um, in it. Um, Russell of later, Gleofi of later, and Yannick Wildscott. All right. Yes, so the players that are, let me know the players on this list that you are very much impressed to see. Let me know. So we have um who knows Jason big up yourself. Thanks for being here. Said um oh them look JD adding more value again. They are always improving. It looks like yes. So they have the thirty five man squad. Look like a few of the persons never got a chance to come here. I don't know if it's maybe they are they are they are looking contracts and stuff because it's mid season. So sometimes people have problems with these competitions. But nonetheless, I am still impressed list because what i saw here is a mixture of different level players i'm going to discuss that right after um for you guys all right and i'm going to do a bigger list just to show you how it goes uh fm data fm data would be a better way to look at it so let me change this just to show you guys so let me get fm data up so we can get it for you I'm trying to get the FM data for you guys. So we can put it together to show you how, how, how it could it could look, all right? I'm trying to get a best 11. All right, so I don't know why they give me a data here, but I'm going to I'm going to sort that out, guys. I wanted to put a best 11. All right, you know what? Let me let me use my no no. I'm gonna use the FM data. All right, 2021. That's the one that we use. This is the one that works. All right, so 2021. Um, I, I, we're, we're we're just gonna get a squad builder right here. All right, all right. Just to show you how the the Suriname is team. More likely, this is what they're gonna use going forward. All right, we have um Giddy in the building. Thanks very much. Come values needs um a team fast. Suriname might be causing an upset um to Puerto Rico. Ah uh, no no no. Suriname going in against Puerto Rico. They are the the massive favorites over Puerto Rico. Shaquille Penas is gonna be a threat. Um bless up bless up J Jason. Um Penas is overhyped. That's what Giddy says. Come on guys, three. 
likes. I think it's more more than three likes on the video, but because persons came in and it stuck at that um um uh, Moyawa. Um, that's why it stocks at. So when you are on the stream, the, when you log on, that's what it's on. All right, we have 29 people in the house now, so it could go up to that. Um, question JD, who is the underdog in the match between Suriname and Puerto Rico? Puerto Rico, um, D. Puerto Rico is a massive underdog. Um, Suriname is one of the highest rated, the higher rated teams in the region. Not in, in ranking, but in, in, in quality of the team, they are like top five now. Uh, evil with them cutting down to this which i'm going to show you uh right here let me let me show you the like their market value which which is not the, the main thing to judge but remember Suriname was always good as you know um they are always good with the quality that they had but they brought in more individuals so as you could see they are at 38 million 38.45 now so they are becoming a part of that higher echelon of teams you get me Yes, so um, it's time for them to deliver now because they have the quality on the field. All right, so let me show you who I would look at now because who I'm, I, I think should have gotten a game time. Um, I don't know if it was injury. Injuries really keep him out. You have Mitchell Tifred. Mitchell Tifred um, coming in. I think he's going to have a different dimension to the Suriname team because I, and I said it last time and people... Um, all right, let me try to save again. Mitchell Tifred. Why am I not getting it? The Fred, uh, what? So why the Fred is not in the, in the team? Okay, Mitchell Tefred is going to change everything because he's, he's bigger and more physical. So now um, the wingers can have something to work off. I think all along, they, are, they have not really gotten that one. They always have some more shorter uh, wingers. While Scott is also a forward winger, wing forward, but he likes to cut wide. Tefred stays much more central. You understand me? Tefred said stays much more central, so it will help, help them massively. All right, Kuan, big, big up yourself. Thanks for being here. Pagan, big up yourself, man. I love the fact that this is not a Jamaican stream, but people always come over to support what we do. You know, I love that, man. Love that. So it doesn't matter where we are, um, people come and show the respect. Yeah, you understand me? Yes. And as you know, um, and then now for going in, going in, this is the, 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 the forward line. So I think they are going to have, um, obviously, um, Becca. Becca will, uh, will be a starter. So let me add Becca right here um, to show you how it will look. So Becca over the left hand or right hand side. I think it's going to still be, be that way. And then you will go with Joseph Zone. Joseph Zone have done a lot. And he's a sure personnel for the team. You expect to get at least a six from Joseph Zone. Um, if not higher. So that is their front line guys. That is a very, very, um, that is very, very strong very very strong front front line there um and i and i'm just waiting to see a big target player which is um tifred up front with him and i hope they do so i think from they brought him they are going to start him i think they are going to start him then we are going to go um with cherry because we are, we have waited a while to see this man in the team you know we have waited a while to see him in the team you know he's getting older but in, if, when it comes down to quality he's one of the the best quality central midfielder you have in the entire CONCACAF region. And he's old. He's old. He's around 35 now. But um, we haven't seen him for Suriname. And we are still waiting for him to turn up for Suriname. Every single tournament, he has some problems. And then he goes and plays in the Champions League and plays some super games against the big teams then, you know? Yes. So, and then deeper line, deeper line. Deeper line, I would have to say, I, I think Kenneth Paul will play defensive central in this system. I think Kenneth Paul will play defensive central in this system. And I think he will do a very, very good job. So I think um, this is how they are going to set it. Kenneth Paul on the right hand side. And then we are going to put, because they are going to be more, if, if, if they want. Uh, would it be Russell of later or Bessiswar? I'm going to put Bessiswar first, just at the start, just the start. Yeah, because true, I know that Kennepal will give you the stability in defense. And now he's available. So this is how it would look. look. But you can easily well put um, Russell of, Le Russell of later, um in it. You could easily well put Russell of later in it um, to make up the numbers. Or you have even additional pieces. And that's what Suriname wanted the longest time. The longest time. Yes, and class, class, class is available. But that shows you, you have... Um, you, 
um let me make sure they're they're on it uh they're not on it okay that's good you have Ladam, you have class and you have russell of later so you have three options and that is what suriname wanted from a long time and all three of those options aside from Ladam, um they are young young players and that is what is dangerous for suriname because they are young 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 players all right so i'm just starting with the front that line all right that line and in goal, um, Rohaven, Rohaven, you would start in goal. I, I think I would have to give him back the nod, but Wana Han is there. But I, I think Rohaven would have to get um, his nod back, to be honest, because he, he played well the last time. So Rohaven um, gets back his nod. Um, so let me know what say you. Kwan, say, JD, um, you think they're going to use Sherry in the starting lineup? Of course, of course, of course. Of course, Cherry is he's he's that dude, man. They're not gonna. Um, if Cherry comes to Jamaica, he starts from Jamaica, you know, with our team, you know, even though he's old, you know. If he comes to Jamaica, you get me? Uh, he starts from Jamaica, so I don't know why Suriname wouldn't start him. Obviously, Bessie Swar is a top quality player, but I think they, what they might do, what they might do, if they if they do find the, the solidity in defensive central, they might just use um, Bessie Swar and Cherry up front. You get me? Yes, but um, at least it's a start. I'm just putting out something, Jason. I am not war fighting with it. I'm just trying to show people the depth that they do. I, I'm seeing most the veteran players. Uh, no, not necessarily, no. Um, I'm just starting with them and giving people the upside. Um, Pagan. But it, it's way, 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 way less um, older players. All right. So you will have Denzel. Stefano Denzel um, has to be a starter. And um, he's going to take the left and slot right here. Um, yeah. Stefano Denzel. And you have Mighty Abena. Abena, um, he, I think he picks himself nowadays. Either, uh, if you don't have the right back, he could go in the right back slot. But I think centre back with his strength um, definitely will help. I think this is going to be a very, very good um, centre back pairing. All right. Very, very good. Then the full back areas now. The full back areas. Let me see. All right, Penas. Penas would have to go over there. Penas would have to start um, over the left back side, which is much more fluent, you know. And I and I think he's prone to mistakes when he's playing more um, centrally. So I think um, on the full back side would definitely help him. Yes, and over the right back side. Now the right back side. This is a surprising thing. So maybe you will have um, class. In, maybe no. Maybe you will have. Um, Maybe you'll have, uh, what's his name again? Comes out. You'll have um, Kenneth Paul goes to the right back. Or you, if, if, and then you put class into that position. You could, or you could use Ladam in that position. But let me put class there for now. All right, so you could use it this way. But you still have a lot of ways that you could. Um, Paul on the left side. Um, agree, um, Giddy. I uh, think Wint Winter will play um, one uh, or the other. Okay, okay, no problem. Um, Pinas offers nothing at left back. I, uh, I, I know my players, bro. All right, Giddy, you're gonna argue with me, and then when I get it, I do get it right. So who you would put in? Who you would put in as the right backs now? Because you do have options. Um, Dextail coming in, you have options right there. But it surprised me that um, Clyburn never made the final listing. We don't have Kleiber in the final listing, so that is, that is something else. While Scott there, Glyphy of later there. I, I, this is a good one because the, 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 the Sanchez, Rohaven, um, Penas, Kenneth Paul, uh, Court, Class. Port. And Abena, those are all, no, Port, let me stop there, Port. You have a good amount of younger players in the team. A good amount of younger players. Let me know what you say. JD, what happened to Raydan? I don't know what happened to him in the team, you know, but he's not listed right here. And this is the listing of players that they do have right here at this point. But they are still, the other players are still on the listing. But they are just not in the squad. I don't know if it's injuries or, or complications with contracts because before I, I talked about a few team, a few, few, a few players had contract problems. All right. Clyber is injured again. Oh, Lord. Um, must be Dextail at right back then. 
All right, so yeah, they still can go at right, right back. Yeah, a lot, a lot of them can go at right back um, at this point. People, you don't have to fight. All I'm just trying to show you that they have a lot of other options. Before, I don't think they had um, they had Dankalo and Ladam um, at right back. And because in midfield you had some problems the last time, people had to chop and change. Now you have a load of right backs, defensive centrals, attacking midfielders, centrals, centre backs, left back, left back position. Um, I would say is a little bit thinner. Keep keeping position, attacking midfielder position, wing areas. All of those areas are stronger, and I, and I honestly believe that um, even with the the team trying to relearn, I think they should have enough to pass Puerto Rico and get themselves. Martinique would be the second phase. Martinique is going to be a tough one because I saw Martinique push Costa Rica with ten man right until the deaths. So that if if Suriname can pass over uh, over Costa Puerto Rico, yeah, Puerto Rico and go to Martinique and defeat them handsomely, I think that's when they are going to get them respect. If they can defeat Martinique, easy well two nil and over, I think people will start taking them as a massive massive threat, a massive massive threat. All right, and with this squad, I think this squad should be able to pass over those game over t over those teams we have to be honest to ourselves we can't rank them highly with the market price and and say that if they don't deliver um it's a problem you understand me no um they have to deliver what say you guys um blackboard um um is also a cdm okay no problem but i'm just trying to show people that this time around they are coming with much more much more experience but younger players right throughout the team right throughout the team Kenny Paul class um would have added the youngness rogavin would have added the youngness denzel is 30 years old you know um denzel is 30 years old that is okay that is more than okay obviously bessie and cherry would have uh, been older but this this time you can make substitutions and they are very much young so put paul over left hand side and put um Dextail over the right hand side and take pin pin pinus off the field. All right, all right, no problem. I am going to put him on, and then people will come and tell me that pinus pinus is not in the team. But this is, was just a conversation. It was just a conversation. Yes. All right. So it's there now. But that it proves my point. It proves my friend how much different levels of players they do have. So Suriname has many more pieces um, this time around. Yes, man. Yes, they have a lot more options in all areas. Even in the striker pool, I still think it's okay in the striker pool. While Scott can play as a two-purpose two player, Glyphe of later is a wing forward and also a striker. Tifreda is also a, a full a flat out striker. He's the only flat out striker they brought in their team but people that can play as complementary pieces yes um jean oh you're doing man oop oop all is well yes and and lay them over bessie soir all right so let me put in lay them over uh the bessie soir because they said lay them over bessie soir all right so people want to chop and change it but it only goes to prove that they have it and they have it luck and i think this team should be good enough to make the gold cup and and let me let me find the gold cup groups for you um gold cup groups twenty twenty three let me show you how it's going to go All right, so this is the Gold Cup groups. So you have Jamaica, um, Nicaragua, United States, and you could have Curaçao and others in this group. Haiti, Honduras, Mexico, Qatar. Then you have Costa Rica, El Salvador, Panama, and then it would have been a Suriname in this group. Um, I think with this, if they can get it through, if they pass those two teams, I can tell you this is going to be one of the most exciting group and I will cover every single damn game in it. Every one of the games. You can tune in to WeMax It Football. It will be here because you know my thing. All right. Um, 80. Julie said 80. God, well, go on. We are talking Suriname today. All right. SR Football says um, you can not put um, a cam. All right. A cam. 
no 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 you have to understand why i did that um bessie Suarez is a very much comfortable person in deep all right um he is comfortable deep so he's not going to be a defensive central he's going to be a deep line playmaker all right yes yeah, so he's, he's going to be a progressive at the ball a lot of teams do the same formation but apply it that way all right so i i i guys i i'm telling you the last time Suriname was at, at jamaica jamaica uh costa rica and who again in the group jamaica costa rica and was it guadalupe i think it was guadalupe but if i'm not wrong either i think it was guadalupe or I, I, yes i think it was guadalupe guadalupe so uh, they defeated guadalupe scored first on costa rica but went down 2-1 and against jamaica it was jamaica had the better chances but they had a better run of play as what i've always said all right yes so guadalupe they got three points over they pushed um costa rica to the end they pushed jamaica to the end as well only people that never watches the game would say otherwise you get me so this time around i think with costa rica rebuilding puerto rico have a, you know panama have a very good team and el salvador is in a rebuilding phase just the same i think if Suriname comes through I am betting on them to fight for a qualification spot. And I think they might get the qualification spot. And I'm saying, it's click me here. Click me here. Let me record myself. If Suriname advances over Martinique and Puerto Rico in their run, click me today. Once they qualify for the group, I think they are going to actually run for a qualification spot, first or second. I think they are going to qualify if they get through to those two games. They are going to qualify. Yes, they are going to qualify. I, I strongly believe so, and I stand by it. I never made any sick, definitive predictions on Suriname, but I'm making it now. So click me for that so you can finally say I've said something. If Suriname qu pass these two teams, which will be two games with the players them, I can tell you they are not going they are going to rival to qualify. They are going to rival to qualify there. And you could see a lot of teams ending up on four points in that, as what Marlon said. But I think you, it's soon now they are going to qualify through that group. Yes, clip it, clip it. So that's the first time, if I'm wrong, somebody can come and say I'm flat out wrong, but I'm going to bet on that. Yes, they are going to qualify. All right? Yes. And we are going to be here to witness it. I think they, are, they have a good team. And this stigma of Suriname failed. Um, obviously that came from a lot of Jamaicans. I, I don't think, um, don't follow that. I, because what, what I've learned, um, most of the Jamaican viewers, them, they don't watch nothing outside from Jamaican football. So that's why they thought that Suriname failed. Suriname never failed at all. I thought that Suriname build properly. Exactly how you do. Come in, get the hardest game them possible. All of the, the shorter games, you want them very much comfortable because they gave everybody six and does destroy everyone until they, they meet their right matches. All right? Yes. So Pega know that's true. A very few Jamaicans watch anything else aside from Jamaican things. And all the Jamaicans them that watches uh, things else, they are here just check the jamaican space and then you will see that jamaicans only watch anything else so if you're surinamese or next country they don't watch nothing else i'm not asking you the other Jama the jamaicans that watch these videos they are here now watching to get information to properly assess things but you have 95 percent of us don't watch nothing else all right big up yourself el pagino um pagan jason i see, see all of the man will actually watch it and then when those guys go back and talk football they act like it's rocket science people talking but it's just the facts so that's what they have um i said i'm gonna do 30 minutes and i bang on the money with the 30 minutes the the listing for Suriname, very, very good. All right, so guys, please smash the like on the share and subscribe. Players like Clara, Apps, Raydan, Dun Dunkalo, they are not here. All right, you're right, JD. Don't forget Suriname got Messi, um, ex coach. Yes, we know, man. We're um, um, Enk, um, Ten Carter. Yes, I know. We reported that oh, fully on the screen. I think that's that's the main thing on, on the front screen for the channel. Yeah, so let me know. You guys want, uh, let me see one second let me check the likes on this video all right and 
Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, and if you are new, definitely make sure to subscribe because we are going to have more Suriname contents coming up. We are going to be doing Suriname game against Puerto Rico. If they progress past Puerto Rico, we will be doing that as well. So we are here. We are here and out. Let me make sure. All right, all right. So that's good then. So let me do the, the full time then. All right. So we're gonna do one hour then. So send in your questions, what you want to ask on the team. If you're Jamaican and you want to learn more, don't f feel free to ask away. If you're Surinamese, ask away and we chop it up. All right. Um, I mean they are going to be ready um for the Gold Cup group stage. I'm just saying once they qualify past that, I'm gonna assess it. But more likely to me, if they pass Martinique, Martinique is not an easy team. All right, I, I saw them play. They are very much organized. So if they can beat them and beat them handsomely, I am telling you, people will start believing in the team. All right, um, Jean, um, uh, big of yourself. What about um the ex player? Um, that is um Raydan. Raydan, I uh, maybe he's dealing with contracts at, at this point. All right. The, no, no, no. He never made the finalist. Let me go over the finalist. Like how people just coming in, um, for this one. So I don't know. I'm gonna in, I'm gonna ask persons. People know him. People know him. I will get that information easy. By by the time I'm off off this one, I will have the updates. So we have Mighty Abena, Navar Navarro, um, Port, um, Cheryl Lebeka, Bessie Swar, um, Blackson, Tijan Cherry, which is first we have him here. Um, for for none of the all of the events them. Denzel, one of the new in, 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 in inclusion. Um, Dakesdale, Wanahan, back in it. As well, goalkeeper, very good as well. Joseph Son, Darasa Class, he's one of the ones coming in as well. Ishan Court, um, Kelvin Ladam, Dian Malone, Kenneth Paul. Um, he was one of the new additions, but he was injured as well. Shaquille Penas, one of the seasoned personnel, one of the younger seasoned pers personnel. Joey Rogaven, um, goalkeeper, played against uh, and impressed against Mexico. Joshua Sanchez, one of the attacking midfielders that came in, young as well well uh sports lead um came in as well mitchell sifred is here for a long time but because of injuries and all sort of things he was not listed and i was waiting for him because i wanted that uh, physical presence right there russell of later gleefully of later and yannick walscott so those are the individuals for this list and i like the list just the same um port is really Navarre Port is really um Navarre black backboard. Okay, okay, right. Um uh I think so. I think so. I will I will look up I will look it up. Um but I, I don't I don't I don't see the additional name. So that's the name that they gave me. So I have to just work with it for now. Alright. Um I will look look it up, Jason. So for me, it's a balanced squad. It's a balanced squad, alright? You're talking about Deshaun Radan. Yes, they said he's not fit. Okay, he's not fit. Um, Shamar, Shamar all soon. All right, so, all right, we're... 33. 33 is all right, man. 33 is all right. So, guys, we know you're going to rewatch the video. We're not going to lend, lend it out. Um... I will, I will figure that out, Jason. Don't worry yourself. I will go and figure it out now. It's on the website and you're sending me to do additional things. All right? Yes. <laughs> so, guys, we're going to leave it right here. Um, we will have more um, videos coming up. We are going to have a, a CONCACAF um, series starting on the channel where in which we, we bring as, as, much, as much people as possible to the platform. So look out for it. It's going to be starting very soon. We are going to try and get everyone um, to talk on their teams. It's coming to this channel. So make sure to subscribe, share, and hit the like button. Take care, people. All right?